right, Shalom. This is the brother Yuanathan, a bad out of Wam, coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashimel Shah. Lord willing, I pray that it's edifying. All right, first and foremost, as always, I want to start off by giving all praises and glorifications to Yahweh Bashimel Shah, Bashim Kakadash, the Abbasid Apostles, and Elders at Great Millstone and Well. Peace, love, and salutations to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of the earth. Preaching this word in truth and in sincerity. Shalom. All right. Now, um, this is basically going to be uh, a lesson on um, a societal uh, collapse. Okay. Um, pretty much focusing on uh, the prophecies, all right, according to the scriptures. And um, you know, as we see a famine, you know, approaching. Okay, because brothers been on uh, the spirit been on brothers. To do lessons on um, the upcoming fam uh, famine or the uh, impending famine. All right, with all the food shortages and um, you know the empty shelves and uh, 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 inflation. Okay, headed into hyperinflation. Okay, that that's one um, that's one of the major things that's going to bring about a societal collapse, which America is going to be a big part of it, man. Okay, because the Most High Yahweh Ba Shemayosha. He's saving America for last because it, uh, when when all these things hit America, hey, it, 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 it's going to be hit the hardest, man. Because these people, all right, like the scriptures speak of uh, people being uh, settled on their leaves, meaning uh, in their comfort, in their safe haven, you know, um, that security, man. <laughs> okay, when people actually uh, experience, uh, experience um, perilous times when shit really hit the fan, they're going to be caught off guard, man. Okay? And, and, and they don't know that America's crumbling day by day. Okay? So, I'm going to get in, um, I want to get in uh, touch on some things regarding um, a societal collapse. Okay? Let me see. Uh, There was one article I was... Matter of fact, let me see. This wasn't actually the article I was looking at, but um, I'm gonna touch on famine. This is a. It says a famine is a widespread scarcity of food caused by several factors, including war, which we're experiencing uh, a rumor of war right now, right? Natural disasters. We have had all kind of weird weather patterns and things of that nature. All right, crop failure, which, um, you know, the government pretty much paid. To uh, these farmers to euthanize their animals and destroy their crops. Okay, so this is uh, actually being engineered too. People don't know that. Okay, that this is a orchestrated. This is all being orchestrated, man. <laughs> all right, because you know people trust in their government. They believe in their leaders, and they don't think they they actually believe their government is, is there to help them. When actually that's the it's the complete opposite. Okay, it says population imbalance. Okay, it says uh, widespread poverty and economic catastrophe, which the economy is uh, going down the drain, you know, which is all orchestrated too. All right. And they blaming this whole uh, pandemic. All right. On it, on um, this war with Russia. All right. Which the elites are behind it, man. All right. It says our government policies. Okay. So that's all I'm going to read right there. All right, but um, we, we're approaching a famine. All right, so I'm going to basically try to look for that alt, uh, that article. Because I always just want to touch on famine right there real quick. But um, there's something else. I don't know where it went. Hold on. Let me type in societal collapse. Bear with me. Because this is what I want to focus on. Society. Yeah, con, con, con. Right. Okay, society, this is societal collapse. Because we know uh, America is, is headed toward that, man. All right, bear with me. Let me cut this arrow. Lord willing. Okay. This is a uh, societal collapse, Salakia. It says, uh, societal collapse, also known as civilizational collapse, is the fall of a complex human society 
characterized by the loss of cultural identity and of uh, so socioeconomic complexity, the downfall of government, and the rise of violence, which we're seeing that too. Like the scriptures say, um, people should not regard their uh, governors, their um, kings, and and all their higher ups. All right, we basically uh, in the midst of uh, Second Ezra, the fifteenth chapter, man. And like it says, rise of violence. You got certain places here in Babylon with increased crime, like New York. Okay, crime is out of gun violence, out of control. Then California, all these major cities, they gotten worse, man. Okay, they gotten a lot worse because all the um, uh, this society is crumbling. The inflation, you know, lack of food, the empty shelves. All right, everything going up like food rent i just uh was watching a video you know um even the mainstream like, like like i said before if the mainstream start talking about this kind of stuff you know we close man they told my rent is going up all right so we definitely at the end man okay it says possible causes of a societal collapse include natural catastrophe all right war pestilence famine all right what is that what does this remind you of don't you see don't we see these in the scriptures Natural catastrophe, hey, the weird weather patterns, like I mentioned, these tornadoes, these earthquakes, all right, the, um, the, like the scriptures speak of the weird constellations in the sky, got these off weather patterns, it don't even look like a, it's, it's, it really don't even look like spring, man, because you got certain trees, uh, the brother, um, the head brother out of the Kansas uh, city camp, he did a lesson on it yesterday, how the trees are not really blossom, blossoming like they're supposed to okay like i see some bushes over here like you're supposed to see flowers and you don't really see that and what we uh got uh this devil constantly destroying the earth man okay and it feels like summer it don't even feel like springtime so oh uh, that's a uh some prime examples of a, a, a natural catastrophe man some uh uh brewing up it says um possible i'm gonna read this again possible causes of a societal collapse include natural catastrophe war right again war rumors of war we in the midst of uh entering into world war three it says pestilence all right what you got going on right now the the, the crown royal 19 you know you talk about a, a, a bird flu and things of that nature man a bird flu blowing up brewing up so you got the pestilences all right happening famine which a hey, going back to famine we we seeing a famine um accommodating it says economic collapse. We're in the midst of this dollar collapsing. The dollar is uh, devaluating uh, every day. These um, countries, they're, they're backing away from the dollar. Russia and China just agreed to dump the dollar. And they're urging other countries to uh, dump the dollar, man. So, hey, shit's about to get real out here, man. America's about to go down. Because when America falls, all right, everything just uh, uh, totally uh, uh, will se totally self-destruct. Okay, because this is the uh, the main uh, hegemony of uh, of the world, so to speak, man. Okay, pretty much these other uh, countries they operate off uh, America, man. Okay, it says eco uh, where was I? Uh, famine, economic collapse, population decline. Okay, hey, hey, what's one of the um, major agendas of these elites? Population control, right? and mass migration okay you got um the ukrainian they they letting ukrainians over here in you know in other parts of uh the world europe with that so-called uh ukrainian crisis all right these um these uh 10 tribes coming up here you know just uh mass migration is happening man all right moving from one country to the next you seeing that man so these are signs of america crumbling Okay, and the, the focal point of this lesson is America, because Babylon is is on the um the most high's hit list, is on the most high's a uh, uh, big agenda to be destroyed, because this is the sinful kingdom. All right, pursuant to uh, Amos the ninth chapter, it says a collapsed society may revert to a more primitive state. See that be absorbed into a stronger society or com completely disappear. Right, because it's going to be survival of the fittest out here, where the scriptures say um. In Matthew 24, the love of many shall wear cold. All right, so if survival of the fittest kick in that primitive, primitive state, 
okay that uh animal aggressive states gonna kick in especially for men to resort back to the uh that ancient way of living man okay all right well well you ain't gonna uh, be able to rely on going to the grocery store and you know um you know uh convenience it's gonna be like i said survival of the fittest where it's gonna be a doggy dog world out here man we're gonna have to just go out and get it man okay you might have to a lot of times you might have to kill for it man okay so people gonna turn into animals when there's a famine out here man okay and uh, um more lack of resources out here okay so that's all i want to read right there i'm gonna get some scriptures in a minute there's something else i want to get all right <clears throat> Yeah, I want to get this. I'm going to read this right here. I'm going to get this. Uh, I'm going to get some scriptures. All right. This says, um, what causes societal collapses? Right. It says several factors cause a societal collapse. But the primary factors are resource depletion, foreign invasion, <laughs> and natural calamities. Okay. So, hey, the foreign invasion. Uh, that that makes me think of Ezekiel, where it says, "Um, this to enter into the uh, uh, land of unwalled villages, which is America, and um, going back to World War Three, you know, it's gonna be uh countries invading this place, man. When a hey, total hell and anarchy happens, that hey, hey, that that's what happens, man. Okay, so, um, lawlessness. All right, let me see, uh." Well, someone, where do you go? I'm going to take a look at this. It says, what does societal collapse look like? A societal collapse, also known as civilizational collapse, is the fall of a complex human society. That's pretty much, I already read that one. But, hey, you get a point. Let me, see, let me take a look at this. Matter of fact, let me drop down. It says, do all civilizations fall? Let me see. It says societies of a past of the past and present are just complex systems composed of people and technology. The theory of natural so like a normal accidents suggests that complex technological systems regularly give way to failure. So collapse may be a normal phenomenon for civilizations, regardless of their size and stage. So yeah, and it has been normal. Every uh, society has failed man no society has lasted forever and, and, and primarily because according to the scriptures because they um they were wicked man okay there wasn't uh no society was under the perfect vibration of yahweh by shemel and shah but we got a society we got a, a kingdom that's never gonna fall man it's gonna last forever okay and i'm gonna get a scripture on that too so I'm gonna get the scriptures. I'm gonna go ahead and get uh Matthew the 24th chapter. Okay, let me get uh slide. let me get Matthew the 24th chapter. I'm gonna get straight to the point. Okay. This is Matthew chapter 24 verse 6 it says and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars which we're in a room we're in the um midst of a rumor of war right now with russia and ukraine and it's gonna to uh, uh only evolve and escalate to uh, uh world war three or the third world according to the scriptures man it says see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet which the ultimate goal to bring the end is the the MOTB, the implementation implementation of the RFID, the Karagma, to make mandatory, all right, throughout the whole entire planet Earth. Okay, so that's the end game for this society. That that's what the, the elites, all right, um, the, so desire to bring the, uh, for complete control. Okay, they think by offsetting prophecy and, and trying to exterminate Israel. That their goal is going to be completed, man. Okay, but they sadly mistaken because the scriptures say they did the, the um their devices are going to be uh disappointed. 
verse 7 it says for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom right nation race wars nation against nation race wars kingdom against kingdom uh, uh world war three and there shall be famines see that and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places and and we're seeing that now okay so we know we're in the end times man okay that lets you know we're in the end times and we're at the end of this eon meaning this age which is uh is uh uh esau controlled by esau man all right the so-called white man because the scriptures say esau is the end of the world and jacob is the beginning of it that follow it so we we're approaching the end of his uh age okay verse 8 it says all these are the beginning of sorrows right sorrows and uh, scriptures also say many great miseries shall come upon them in the latter time which dwell upon earth okay so again all these are the beginning of sorrows so we're seeing the beginning of sorrows man all right this dollar is about to be uh done away with man we are we head into a full-blown economic collapse and these people out here don't know what the fuck is going on out here man they're out here totally oblivious thinking shit is all sweet thinking shit is uh going back to normal they, they, they hey the most i got these people wait right where you want them man in a total trick bag man okay verse 9 it says um matter of fact that's pretty much it right there i'm gonna drop down to verse 12 all right this is uh matthew 24 and 12 it says because iniquity shall abound the love of many shall wax cold right because the, again this is the sinful kingdom iniquity means sin upon sin and the most high has it out for america so the love of many is going to wax cold in these latter times too these people are all are always talking about love 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 gotta love everybody respect everybody we, people don't respect each other man these people are fucking um assholes man especially here in babylon man they got that uh um fake love uh, uh, uh attitude man these people are fake man that because when shit really hit the fan when shit really get real that's when you're gonna see people's true colors come out man okay so they, uh, these people are full of shit man all right so i'm gonna read this again and because iniquity shall abound the love of many shall wax cold the love of these people are gonna wax cold very soon man the people are gonna rob you for food when there's lack of food and water hey they're gonna conspire against a certain neighbor they been so-called buddy buddy with because they know they got food and they're gonna uh, break in this, uh, his or her house and rob them and kill them for food that's how real it's gonna get that's an example of the love of many waxing cold out here man okay i'm going here to read verse 13 i'm gonna get one more scripture and close out it says but he sh that it shall endure into the end the same shall be saved right and that's going to be the elect man we're going to endure all this turmoil that's coming man lord willing we st we stay in this this uh faith and we don't be discouraged fall out and turn our backs on the lord man are we going to get caught up in these many great miseries that's coming man okay so hey all these are uh, coming upon the planet man okay these scourges for the wicked matter of fact i'm getting i'm in it off on that man let's go to the apocrypha let's go to Sirach, the 39th chapter because the most High has the, uh, uh has it out for the wicked of our people especially 39 Sirach 39 um start at verse let me see 28 i'm gonna read on down I think there's one in second Israel 16 chapter 2 that's pretty much similar let me see um con this is Sirach 39 and 28 it says there be spirits that are created for vengeance which in their fury lay on sore strokes in a time of destruction they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them right the most high bringing judgment on the planet earth all right uh, this society is uh, uh, destined to be brought down. He's bringing down America, man. And he's going to have these deaf angels get busy bringing judgment, appeasing his wrath. 
verse 29 it says for fire so like in fire and hell and famine they go that word again and death all these were created for vengeance so all these calamities including famine were created for vengeance verse 30 teeth of wild beast these uh wild animals are gonna escape out the zoos and they start eating and eating on people and scorpions and serpents and the sword which is esau the most high's uh left hand um whooping stick he gonna um have his way out here man especially with jake it says again and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction so all this is uh, going to be uh ha happening all right to bring about the punishment of the wicked okay verse 31 i'm gonna go ahead and read this it says they shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth these deaf angels when need is and when their time has come they shall not try to transgress his word okay so the elect is they're gonna hold firm and they're not gonna transgress all right they uh, uh they're not gonna transgress the um the word of the most high man okay because some of the elect is going to get spiritual powers and they're going to enact the judgment of Yahweh by Shemel Shah too. And Lord willing, I'll be one of those men, man. Okay. All right. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and um, get one more scripture, man. Matter of fact, let's go to 2nd uh, Israel. I want to find the exact verse, though. 2nd Israel, the 15th chapter. Or the, the, the 16th chapter. This shit load up, man. Damn. Slocky. No second. Bear with me, um, brothers and sisters. Um, Second Ezra sixteen. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Get exactly what verse. Where it says, um, all these were created for the wicked, the famine, the um. Okay, uh, Salakia, this uh, Cyrax 40, and um, uh, 9, verse 9, okay, it says, uh, death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge, these things are created for the wicked, and for, de Salakia, and for their sakes came the flood, okay, which the flood was the first death. And we know the second death is coming by fire, nuclear fire. Okay, it says all the so like all things that are of the earth shall turn to the earth again, and that which is of the waters do return unto sea, unto the sea, because the ultimate purifying agent is fire, man. And everything's gonna be restored in um, its rightful order. Okay, including people. All right, the way of life, nature. Okay, when this earth is purified and, and we enter in our uh, uh, kingdom, the new heaven and the new earth, man. Okay, because the most high is going to turn everything right side up. But first, this societal collapse, starting with America, the primary uh, um, uh, target, okay, of, of Yahweh Shemel Shah, happens, man. He's bringing about that societal collapse, 
all right, bringing down this society, bringing um, the so-called white man down and, and, and um, put him out of power, man. Okay? Through the spirit and power you have by Shemel Shah. Okay? So uh, all these things were created for the wicked, man. And, and the wicked got to die, man. Okay? He's bringing about, he's orchestrating all this to bring about the punishment of the wicked, including two-thirds of the nation of Israel. Okay? So I just want to touch on that. Um, you know, I'm going to end this lesson on that. Lord willing, it's edifying. I'm going to uh, sign off by saying again, all praises and glorifications goes to Yahweh by Shem El Shah, by Shem Rekakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone and Well. Peace, love, and salutation to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of the earth preaching his word and truth and in sincerity. I'm going to say Shalom, Kwame Ashala, and Ababa Ball. Shalom.